Hello, French fries. Today we are going to be looking at how to multiply a fraction by a whole number. So when we are learning to multiply fractions by whole numbers, you should be able to do three things. You should be able to write a fraction as a multiple of a unit fraction. You should be able to use a model to find the product of a fraction and a whole number. And you should be able to find equivalent equations for your fraction times a whole number equations for your products. So before we start, there's a couple things that we should review. The first thing that I want to talk about is remembering that multiplication is a way to show repeated addition. So in this example, we have 3 times 4. When we are saying 3 times 4, we are saying it's 4 groups of 3. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. So we are doing 3 plus 3 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. Another important thing to remember is that we have vocabulary words to describe the parts of our multiplication equation. So the numbers that we are multiplying together, we call those the factors. The answer to our multiplication problem is called our product. We also need to review unit fractions. Unit fractions are numbers or fractions where the numerator is a one. So one unit of something is one piece. They're really important because they help us know the size of that fraction. So one eighth is one piece out of eight. Notice it's smaller than one half, which is one out of two pieces. Unit fractions help us know the size of the piece. It is when there's a one in the numerator. Let's also remember or review what multiples are. Multiples are when we skip count by a number. It's another way to say our product. So multiples of 6, the first multiple would be 6, 6 times 1. The second multiple would be 12. The third multiple would be 18. The fourth multiple would be 24 and the fifth multiple would be 30. So these are all multiples of 6. The first multiple, the second multiple, the third multiple. Another way to show multiples is with a number line. So if we use the number line and we skip, count on it, so the first multiple is 6. If we skip count again, the second multiple is 12. If we skip count again, 18. If we skip count again, it will be 24, and then 30, and 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. These are multiples of 6, and a way to show them is with a number line. Let's also review how to add fractions. When we add fractions, we are saying that it is one eighth. So if I color in one eighth, and this one is my red, plus one eighth, another one eighth I'm coloring in, plus another one eighth, that all together, when we add those three pieces together, one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth, we have a total of three eighths. When we add fractions, our denominator is staying the same because that is just telling us the size of the piece. The size of the piece is not changing. Just how many pieces we have, what the numerator represents, is changing. So we have one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. All together, we have three eighths. So now that we have reviewed, let's look at our lesson for today. First, let's start with decomposition. In our model, we have four fifths. We learn that one way to show four-fifths is to break it up into its unit fractions. So four-fifths, we can say, is equal to one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth. Remember, that's called decomposing or to decompose a number, to break it apart into its pieces. Today, we are going to learn that you may notice that this is repeated addition. So just like with whole numbers, we can show this with multiplication. We can say that this is four times one-fifth, or it's one-fifth, one, 
two, three, four times. So it's four times one fifth is a way to show four fifths. So this is a unit fraction or a multiple of a unit fraction. It's the fourth multiple of one fifth. Okay? So four fifths is the fourth multiple of one fifth. So let's look at another example. Here we have a model that is showing one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. If we moved all those pieces and added them together, we know that we would have three eighths. Look. This is another example that we can use repeated addition or multiplication. We can say that it is three groups of one eighth. One group, two groups, three groups. Three groups of one eighth. So three groups of one eighth is three eighths. So again, three eighths is the third multiple of one eighth. We can show this on the number line too. So in this example, we have a number line and we have skip counting occurring. Hmm. Here, the first step that we want to do is identify what this number line is showing. So we want to see how many parts it's broken into. Here's one part, two parts, three parts, four parts, five parts, six parts, seven parts, eight parts. So that can tell me that this is counting by eights. Now, if I look at it, I can see that each hop or skip is taking up two eighths of space. The distance between this space is two eighths. So I can say it's two eighths plus two eighths. So another two eighths gets me at four eighths, and another two eighths gets me at six eighths. So this model is showing two eighths plus two eighths plus two eighths. And it's showing that all together we have six eighths. So another way to show this is with repeated addition or with multiplication. We can so we can say that two eighths three times one two three is equal to six eighths. So the third multiple of two eighths is six eighths. Two eighths four eighths six eighths. We are skip counting by fractions. Two eighths four-eighths, six-eighths. The third multiple of two-eighths is six-eighths. So now we know that when we have a fraction, we can decompose or show it with equivalent equations. We already know that ten-eighths can be rewritten as one and two-eighths, the mixed number. But we can also write it many different ways using multiplication equations. One way that we can write it is 10, the whole number 10, 10 groups of 1 eighth. So each 1 eighth 10 times. Okay? So 10 times 1 eighth is one way to write 10 eighths. This is the whole number times the unit fraction. Another way we can say it is 5 groups of 2 eighths. 2 eighths plus 2 eighths plus 2 eighths plus 2 eighths plus 2 eighths. We have one, two, three, four, five, five groups of two eighths. There's two eighths in each piece. A third way we can say it is two groups of five eighths. Here's one group in the green of one, two, three, four, five out of eight, and a second group, one, two, three, four, five eighths. So two groups of five eighths. So here are four ways that we can show the fraction. 10 eighths using equivalent equations, using multiplying a whole number by a fraction. So in today's lesson, we learned how to multiply fractions by whole numbers. You should be able to write a fraction as a multiple of a unit fraction, use models to find the product of a fraction in a whole number, and find equivalent equations for your product. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.